Uh, it's Brody from Party Among Yourselves here for Simply Wi-Fi, trying to answer a few questions with the TELUS setup. So you may be wondering if you're able to set up your own router on the network, certainly. Uh, but it depends on the setup that you have at your business already. So if you've tried doing this and you have a bit of problems, then this might help you out. So the fiber network coming into your business is going to be one of two different ways. <clears throat> Excuse me, the fiber is either going into one of these, an ONT, an optical network translator, uh, or it is going into something like this. Uh, this is uh, an SFP, okay? And the fiber goes in there, and then this will go into your router. Chances are you have either something like this, the good old 3200, or the newer NAH, okay? Um, the SFP goes right in there. This will be mounted to the wall and impossible to get off the wall. So I'll make another video showing you how to do that. But basically the fiber is going to be coming in one way or another. Now, the easiest way to set up your router is so it has a, a public IP address, right? It's talking to the internet itself. If not, you'll be behind a firewall, one of these, and then all the traffic that you are sending out on the internet hops through one of these. It's a double NAT, it'll slow things down, and it could possibly make your network not work at all, depending on the IP address of your router. So the easiest way to do it would be to plug it in directly. Now, your router will have something like this, a WAN port, okay? So the, these are, this is like an in, and these are like an out. And your, your WAN port has to get a, an IP address from something. So. The setup is, if you've got one of these, an ONT, this is screwed to the wall, the fiber's in there, it's turned on and it's working. Uh, these are your phone ports, and then one of these will be provisioned, most likely data one. Um, if it's plugged into something that's not provisioned, the lights won't come on on the back when your router's connected up to it. So say it's plugged into data one. Also keep in mind that here's data one, and this light indicating it here is actually data four. Data one is over here. You can see it on yours at home. So this is just uh, translating it from fiber uh, onto something that we can use copper. Uh, so this is pulling nothing. Whatever you're plugged into is pulling a public IP address. So this would go into the WAN port on your router. Now keep in mind if you have TELUS services like security, running through the TELUS router or um, Business Connect uh, or TV. Uh, they may need to have a little bit of um, adjustments or have this connected up. Basically, if you tear this out and put it in your own router and you mess up your TELUS stuff and call them, you may get charged for the service call. Now, the other way to have it set up on the newer equipment is this NAH router which is going to be screwed to the wall. And like I said, you won't be able to get it off. Uh, and then the login information is right there. So the IP address and everything that you need to get in. I could do a video about that as well. So the fiber will be plugged in to the SFP here. Oh, not if I do it backwards. So it's easy to tell which way because there's a little handle, little thing that opens and that needs to be facing out which I did not do. So there you go. So the fiber's in here, and then you have access to the network out here. Now, um, you can't just take this out and plug it into your router, most likely. You can do it if you know what you're doing, and if you do know what you're doing, you're probably not watching this video anyways. Um, so this is the, I'll say the translator, like this was. So it comes in here and then this thing pulls a public IP address. This is what talks to the internet. Everything plugged in here talks to this. This talks to the internet, the old telephone game. So if you wanna plug your router in, you need to plug it in here. And there's one little trick to getting a public IP address so that you're bypassing all of this, which is to log into the router itself and bridge one of the ports. When you're in there, you have the option to bridge this uh, 10 gig port bridge just these four ports or bridge all of them as of the taping of this video. 
And then once the port's bridged, whatever you plug in will pull an external, uh, like a public IP address. Uh, now, you have to be very, very careful with that because you're basically bypassing the firewall that's in this router and everything that you have plugged in will be directly onto the internet itself. So if you've got a voice over IP phone plugged in there, uh, you will get hacked almost immediately. Uh, if you have a phone that is ringing every time you hang it up and you pick up or it says Sip Vicious is calling, that's a, a big hacker thing. Um, yeah, you're not behind a firewall. You're just right on the internet. So the only thing that you would really want to plug in, if you're watching these videos to learn how to do this, the only thing you would really want to plug in there would be another router, right? Not a switch. It's really going to mess things up if you plug a booster in here um, so that all your Wi-Fi de devices are connected up and they're pulling public IP address. That will mess everything up as well. So hopefully that makes sense. If you've got your own router, you need to bridge a port on here, probably this one, and connect your router up if you're using an SFB. Or if you've got this set up, data one or whatever is provisioned, and that goes directly into the WAN port of your router. Now, if you need help with any networking stuff uh, or wanna get anything from Simply Wi-Fi, uh, they do phones, they do surveillance uh, cameras, they do network um, design and implementation, Wi-Fi solutions, uh, you can reach out to them, simplywifi.ca. And uh, yeah, just fill in the form or text the number that's on there and somebody will get back to you right away. And if you don't yet have TELUS internet for your business and you'd like to order it but don't want to spend a bunch of time on the phone, well, you can send them a message as well and we'll have someone from TELUS reach out to you. Uh, that does help support the channel. We really appreciate it. So hopefully that helps. Enjoy the rest of your day.